Crystal, one quick word. We just got Jefferson County Public Schools are closed tomorrow. They've already announced it. No school tomorrow. Now, let's go live to the Disaster Center where Lisa Chiava is standing by with the Louisville mayor. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Doug and Rachel. Just about 10 minutes ago, a meeting broke up between uh, Mayor Jerry Abramson, County Judge Executive, number of department uh, heads, agency heads. The main thrust of the meeting, snow removal. When can we expect life to return to normal? <laughs> well, fortunately, they say the temperature is going to rise uh, Thursday, maybe, uh, Thursday, Friday. So right now we're still plowing. There's no reason to put salt down at this point because it's too cold. Uh, we'll put the salt down when the temperature gets around 20. Uh, the main radials will be ready. Uh, they, were, they were good today getting into work, actually, and the main radials in the city. Uh, we'll try to get into secondary roads starting tomorrow. We're still on the main radials. Uh, we're asking folks to, to bear with us. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on right now. We're trying. We've still got about 10,000 people out of uh, gas and electric, so we're making sure that those folks, if they're going to leave their home, at least leave a pencil-thin uh, stream of water coming out of their faucet because uh, if there's no heat in their house, this is not the time for a water break. Uh, we've got water mains that are breaking. We've got 16 that are down. We're, we're down now to only eight that are down. We're working on the biggest one up at Broadway and Barrett. Uh, we've got facilities that are open, centers that are open at Mail. At, we're going to put one in West Louisville. We'll be announcing it shortly. Uh, we've got uh, St. Matthews Community Center is available. Red Cross is working. We've got Red Cross. Who, anybody who wants to volunteer to help with Red Cross needs to call 589-4450 and you can get a hold of a Red Cross. We're working with the dialysis patients again. It's another day, and many of them have to get into the centers. We're asking dialysis patients to call directly to their dialysis center. We from here are deploying four-wheel drive vehicles and some of the National Guard directly to the dialysis centers, and they will work with them from the center. Don't call here. Doctors, nurses, emergency, emergency situations should then call 574-3900, and we'll be in a situation to respond to them. How would you rate snow removal so far? It looks like we might be heading into another day with a number, almost all businesses and schools closed tomorrow. How would you rate the performance so far? Well, I think the guys and gals that have been out there on 18-hour shifts, I mean, we've, the city of Louisville's had 23 crews plus spreaders that are out there working all day and all night yesterday and, and the night before and last night. The county's got 30-some-odd trucks that are out on the road. I mean, you're, we're trying. You've got 16 inches of snow. So the main radials, I mean, if you're coming in, you know, Broadway or Chestnut or Liberty or uh, Southern Parkway or Third Street or Lexington Road or, or Frankfurt Avenue, you know, they're in pretty good shape and people are, are going to have to literally walk from their subdivisions to a main radial if they want to come into the downtown and work. TARC is running. TARC is running from 7 this morning till 7 tonight. The last TARC truck uh, bus will leave downtown around 6 o'clock. We've got nine major routes open going out the main radials from the downtown, so they'll be running all the way through till 7 o'clock tonight and be running again tomorrow. And as we clear more areas, we'll, they'll be able to have more TARC, TARC uh, uh, buses on the road. We're looking at some of the hospitals. Southwest right now is having difficulty in terms of Southwest Hospital out, out off Dixie Highway. So we've got the state crews that are working Dixie Highway, and the county crews are going to be working at Stonebridge Road right out there to be able to give easier access in and out. It's really important, obviously, for us to keep the... the uh, um, uh, health facilities open and the hospitals open. Uh, our police, both city and county, have said that they're, they're up to date on their runs, uh, so they're not being overtaxed at this point. Uh, but but um, the ambulance services are, are having difficulty. Uh, fortunately, the, the National Guard is here now big time, and so we've got their Humvee vehicles. We've got uh, Red Cross needed some more um, blankets, so we're sending them over. There's a there's a, a warehouse over in Clarksville, Indiana. We're going to be sending over a two-ton truck from the from the National Guard to pick up the blankets, so that we can have blankets and cots at the facilities that Red Cross are running. So we're moving. I mean, it's it's coming. Tomorrow, Wednesday, you're thinking Thursday, uh, I might not be able to put salt on the roads. What day do you think businesses are going to start to become open, schools back open again? Any way to predict that at this point? It really is tough at this point. I mean, it's like trying to figure out how much all this is costing us. That's really difficult to predict, too. But we're just moving on. And we got people here, sitting county government's open, the folks are getting in, and, and we're trying to keep the communication channels up and running. You feel like there were enough equipment, enough supplies on hand in terms of salts and plows and everything. The city wasn't caught off guard with this. Yeah, well, I don't know if you're. you're I think you're always caught off guard when there's 16 inches of snow. Uh, but on the other hand, I mean, we've got all the equipment that we would need for a normal snowstorm. Uh, the salt right now, uh, we're beginning to use more and more of it, or will use more and more of you're it. Running out at all? Uh, you know, come early next week if we're still using salt, we're going to need. We're going to need to go out on the spot market and begin to purchase. But right now, we can handle it. We're not putting it down, we're husbanding it much more closely right now. And in fact, come the temperature rising on Thursday, um, then we'll be in a position to put out down more salt. Okay, I see the county judge executive will get him in. Thank Great. you, Mayor Jerry Abramson. Okay, uh, number of department heads uh, meeting in that uh, meeting today. And, uh, 
Another gentleman joining us now, County Judge Executive um, Dave Armstrong. The county is virtually paralyzed, uh, transportation there. What can you tell us about the roads in the county? We're not totally paralyzed. We have about, we've been able to reach 90 percent of the county roads. And you know, there are three classifications of roads in this community. You have a state road, you have a county road, and you have a city road. And then we have a fourth one, which is the subdivision roads. We've been able to reach uh, with two or three, uh, one or two clearances on each of the uh, county roads that we've been able to reach. So 90% of them are cleared for at least one vehicle travel. You were mentioning uh, a lot of people asking when is my street going to be cleared. You mentioned some of the subdivisions out in the county, how you're handling that. We have thousands of, of subdivision streets and people are asking when you're going to get to our subdivision. Starting right now, we have private contractors that are wor working on subdivisions to open a major thoroughfare. It doesn't mean all of your streets will get uh, cleaned in the next day or two days. But we're trying to open up for emergency vehicles first and foremost and for essential traffic. Those people who are doctors, nurses who need to get to work because they provide some central service to get them out of the subdivisions into the hospitals and clinics and so forth. I thought it was interesting you were saying you were going to clear a transportation grid. So there's some type of method to this madness. There is. Uh, we're looking at developing a grid uh, to be able to have people to get access. Even though you, you may not be able to get your car out, we're going to have TARC try to follow this grid as well. So we're evaluating the TARC service. Yesterday it became too cumbersome uh, with not enough streets being cleared for them to operate. Today they're operating from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So there will be TARC service along nine specific rights and, uh, routes, and that's going to be announced later by the TARC officials. But, but overall, the, the state is, uh, is now allowed us to work with their ramps. We're going to be clearing the ramps of the interstate and the ramps of the county, uh, I mean the city state roads, uh, so that we can get the vehicles that are stranded there off. And uh, so that we, we will hope will clear up some of the interstate traffic. We asked the mayor what day he thought life would return to normal. Any guesstimate on your part? <laughs> well, I think by Thursday or Friday, uh, hopefully, if the weather changes and improves. Uh, everyone here has been going uh, just nonstop for the last uh, two days uh, with very little street, uh, sleep. And the fatigue factor, I think, is beginning to hit a lot of these people. So it would be a welcome. Uh, sign if your meteorologist would forecast that it's going to be 40 degrees this afternoon so we can all uh, maybe sit back and take a break. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you very much, Thank County you. Judge Executive Dave Armstrong. So uh, the meeting here ended with um, plans of strategy on the snow removal. Rachel Doug. Thank you very much, Thank Lisa Kiava, reporting live. If he's looking for 40 degrees, I think he is dreaming, right, Ashley? Yes, I think so. Well, first of all, let's deal with today the coldest highs only around zero degrees. We have a wind chill warning in effect. Wind chills will feel like it's 35 to 45 degrees below zero. Overnight, mostly clear, dipping down to a uh, tie a record low of 14 degrees below zero tomorrow. Increasing clouds, flurries late in the day, the high near 10. It looks like Thursday, temperatures will struggle to reach even 20. Doug and Rachel. All right, thank Thanks, you very Ashley. much, Ashley. We hit a record of minus 10 degrees. That wraps up this special report from WHAS 11. Again, no school tomorrow for Jefferson County School students. Another winter storm update in less than 30 minutes. Stay with us.